Now, let's analyze the methodology behind the English experience. The English experience is based on a model of experiential learning, in which learning is defined as the active construction of meaning from direct experience. The model is based on two fundamental premises. A. That experience is essential for learning. And B. That in order to learn effectively, people need to reflect on experience in order to interpret it and use what they learned in further experiences. The implication for ELT is that students will learn the language better if they are involved in doing things in the language, rather than being passive receptors of the language. In the experiential learning cycle, doing means being exposed to a socially relevant text. This text can be oral or written, and students can derive meaning from it through authentic listening or reading tasks. In the EFL classroom, this becomes the first stage of the lesson. Doing is interpreting an oral or a written text. Let's go back to page 88. And you are going to try to answer the exercise, okay? Okay. Any questions? What do you think of these blue dress? Mm, I don't like it very much. You don't? No, I prefer this red one. It's nicer than the blue one. Really? Yes, it's shorter and it's more fashionable. Fashionable. Fashionable than that one. Well, yes, the blue one is more traditional than the than that one. Do you mean it's more old fashioned than the red one? No, I mean it has nothing. Working pairs, read the dialogue and write true or false next to the sentence. Have you finished? No. no. Diana, number two, Sue thinks the red dress is fashionable? True. True, yes. Gustavo, number three, Sue's mother prefers a classic design? True. Yes, it's true. My At the second stage of the cycle, students are asked to observe a specific language point contained in the text and notice something about it. For example, patterns and irregularities in the foreign language, and similarities or differences with their native language. This is an awareness-raising stage. Now let's go to the other page. Everybody go to page 89 of your book. We are going to continue with Think About It. Please look at the box that you have in the first exercise. You have a box that it says adjectives and comparative adjectives. Yes, very good. Bunny. Two 
persons or to places, okay? After noticing, students need to develop a concept about the aspect of the language they noticed. They may attempt to produce a rule or try to describe how they think that aspect of the language works. This is the conceptualization or learning stage of the cycle. Now, let's write the rules here. Who can tell me the first one? We add ER to the end of the adjective with one syllable and adjectives with two syllables that end in Y. Which one of these words we can use that rule, Maria? Okay, if you see pretty ends with Y, and if we divide it in syllables, it's pretty, okay? It ends with Y, and we are going to change the Y with I, and then we are going to add ER. Yes? Yes. Let's go to the other. We put the word more before adjectives that have three, three, two or more syllables. Finally, students need to try out what they learned and experiment with the newly acquired language items. At this stage, students are given activities to put the new language into practice and integrate it with previously learned language. This means using the language purposefully in order to produce meaningful oral or written texts. You are going to use the words that you have here to compare. You are going to tell your partner what do you prefer to use for example. I prefer to wear jeans and dresses because I think I need to Yes, very good. <laughs> Thus, by following the experiential learning cycle, students move from concrete experience, or doing, to reflective observation, or noticing, then to abstract conceptualization, or learning, and then to active experimentation, or using.